Well, dear members, dear friends, uh, 2022 was a very difficult year. I'm doing this out of Beijing right now, and so the Christmas message comes in a very dark period of time. The date that we will be the most important to me this year was certainly the 5th of May, when we launched the flash survey, the data you have given us in order to communicate what damage uh, the lockdowns uh, have done, also uh, the Ukraine uh, crisis, the war uh, uh, on Ukraine from Russia. Um, the sentiment was really low on that day, but also I recall that on the 5th of uh, May, uh, the Politburo decided to stay for zero tolerance, something that really has put us back for quite a long period of time. But on the 5th, we launched a paper that was followed up by a business confidence survey that had a big black swan on the cover. But the big black swan on all these ways, very dark, Harry did a great job on this one, is basically uh, shown also a lighthouse. The lighthouse was standing for hope, the messaging that there will be a different time and that actually we could do something about it. Um, 2022, again, uh, turned out to be difficult also in other areas. Uh, in Chungting, I remember the fires. Uh, Chengdu had a long uh, lockdown. We had a drought uh, that impacted business. And I think that's also a message to us. Climate change is uh, here to stay. And then, of course, COVID, the zero tolerance, uh, caused us to do lobby again and again. Central government, local governments, the chapters uh, were very active in approaching the mayors and the local leaders. But it did, unfortunately, have little impact. Even while I was able to uh, talk to the Prime Minister of China, Li Keqiang, in May, uh, I was advocating vaccination is victory, um, but uh, uh, it didn't really heat well until very recently. In a way, it's a bittersweet moment now because most of our recommendations we also sent to the Ministry of Commerce and others two weeks ago has now been implemented. People can stay at home. Basically, we, vaccination kick-started again about a week ago, but the sentiment is very low. And again, let me remind you that 23rd of December, the day before Christmas, is the shortest day on daylight uh, in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, Christmas is on the 24th, and then basically days get longer, and spring is eventually coming up. Christmas, in essence, is the season of hope. And I want you to be hopeful. Uh, also, when you consider uh, the Chinese New Year on the 20th of January, it's going to be the water rabbit. And 40 years ago, my teacher in Taiwan was telling me that the water rabbit is someone who can turn trouble around. He's able to come with energy and to be optimistic about it. It's not an easy animal, uh, but it is someone that projects hope, at least so I was told. So in a way, the active uh, rabbit should be also the sign for us for 2023. I guess we go through three months of real difficult times. I guess in the second quarter, most of us in China will be out of the problems. We will rejoin the world by having a normal life again. No lockdown, no zero tolerance, all of the above. I hope that we enter this phase with as little damage as uh, possible. So holidays are here to come. Uh, we have. Uh, uh, holidays uh, to inspire us, to reconnect with the family, uh, to be positive, energized uh, from the rest that we have, but also go into the holidays uh, with uh, some symbolic meaning. In the Northern Hemisphere, in some places we have snow, uh, and I guess the color white has now been <laughs> distorted uh, by hazmat suits and the big whites here in China. But again, we are entering a period where white stands for snow and rejuvenation. And uh, the message I really want to give you is that 2023 certainly is going to be better. It's going to be more lively, no more lockdowns. It's going to be a period uh, where we have overcome COVID. Uh, it's a period of hope. So, dear members, I wish you a restful, inspiring period of uh, holidays. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.